The latest Kobach campaign denies he is extreme. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, surrounded by his family, addresses the crowd during a joint press conference with Gov. Jeff Collier to thank their supporters and kick off Kobach's fall campaign at the Kansas Republican Party headquarters on Thursday, August 16, 2018, in Topeka, Kansas. Chris Neal, the Topeka Capital Journal via AP, Wichita, Con. AP, the latest on the certification of Greg Orman as an independent candidate in the November ballot for governor, all times local, 4.50 p.m. The gubernatorial campaign of Chris Kobach is hitting back on assertions by independent candidate Greg Orman that many Kansas Republicans view their nominee as not only extreme, but incompetent and corrupt. Kobach's spokesman Denadri Herbert says, cutting taxes and stopping illegal immigration is not extreme. She says there has not been any hint of corruption in any aspect of Kobach's career, unlike Orman's association with a former Goldman Sachs board member who was convicted of insider trading. When that issue arose during the 2014 Senate race, Orman said and he had a very modest investment in a company with Roger K. Gupta, who was convicted in 2012 of insider trading. Underscore 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 2.55 p.m. Independent gubernatorial candidate Greg Orman says many Kansas Republicans view their party's nominee, Chris Kobach, as not only extreme, but incompetent and corrupt. He believes those Republican voters will be attracted to his background as a businessman. Orman said Friday, he expects his business experience will also draw to him Democratic voters who view the governor's job as not just a policy job, but a management job. The Kansas City area businessman says he always anticipated he would be on the November general election ballot as an independent candidate but says it's great when you get the official news. He said there here is a clear choice for Kansans now between two career partisan politicians bought by special interests and an independent businessman who is going to serve Kansans. Underscore 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 2.20 p.m. Kansas City area businessman Greg Orman has submitted enough valid signatures to appear on the November. Six ballot as an independent candidate for Kansas governor, launching what could become the most serious candidacy for governor by someone outside a major party since the 1930s. The Secretary of State's office said Friday that the names of Orman and his lieutenant governor nominee John Dahl would appear on the November ballot. Orman will face Democratic State Sen. Laura Kelly of Topeka and Republican Secretary of State Chris Kobach, whose nomination was only settled this week after Gov. Jeff Collier conceded in a primary with a razor-thin margin of some 350 votes out of more than 316,000 cast. Kansas City area businessman Greg Orman's name will appear on the November. Six ballot as an independent candidate for Kansas governor, presenting a new obstacle to Democratic efforts to defeat conservative Chris Kobach in November. The state secretary of state's office on Friday posted a short statement saying Orman had presented enough valid signatures to qualify for the ballot along with his running mate, John Dahl. Orman, 49, will face Democratic State Senator Laura Kelly of Topeka and Kobach, whose nomination was only settled this week after Gov. Jeff Collier conceded in a primary with a razor-thin margin of some 350 votes out of more than 316,000 cast. Orman says he's in the race to win and rejects suggestions that his role will be as a spoiler who complicates Democrats' efforts to recapture the governor's office after eight years of republicness. Democrats were gearing up for a potential legal challenge to Orman's filing. Many Democrats have worried that Orman will pull votes away from Kelly, 68, making it far easier for Kobach, who is the Secretary of State. GOP began a clean sweep of statewide and congressional races in 2010. But the state also has a solid block of moderate GOP and independent voters and a history over the past 50 years of alternating between electing Republican and Democratic governors. Orman says he can build a coalition starting with voters upset with both parties, and he cites the value of having an independent governor who will lack natural political enemies, Kobach. 
52, is a favorite of President Donald Trump and has a national conservative following thanks to his strong stance against illegal immigration and his fervent offensive voter ID laws. Orman ran as an independent against U.S. Sen. Pat Roberts in 2014 and did so well in initial polling that the Democratic candidate dropped out to create a better chance of toppling the veteran Republican. Orman lost by 10.5 percentage points after Roberts got campaign help from several GOP stalwarts, including Sarah Palin, Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Rand Paul. Orman made the ballot by submitting more than 10,000 signatures in early August. He needed 5,000 valid signatures to qualify. On Orman's website, he says, he supports stronger background checks for gun buyers, ending the sale of bump stocks in high-capacity magazines, setting a minimum age of 21 to buy an R-15 or other semi-automatic weapon and requiring training and licensing for a concealed carry permit. Orman said he supports the Second Amendment but would like to revisit which types of arms Americans have a right to own. During the 2014 Senate race, Orman described himself as pro-choice and said abortion policy was a matter of settled law and the nation should move on. Orman's running mate Dahl is from Garden City and left the Republican Party to run for a lieutenant governor. An independent candidate for governor last came close to winning in 1932. Orman graduated from Princeton in 1991 and founded Environmental Light Concepts, a firm that designed and installed energy-efficient lighting systems for commercial and industrial use. The company had more than 120 employees when a majority of it was sold to Kansas City Power and Light in 1996. After a stint with KCP, Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.